of my TV and welcome once again to Love of Ramayan. I am Vidya. Karpur Gauram Karuna Vataram Samsar Saram Bhujagendra Haram Sadha Vasantam Hridayar Vindi Bhavam Bhavani Sahitam Namami Bhavam Bhavani Sahitam Namami Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara Guru Sakshat Para Brahma Tasme Shri Gurave Namah Tasme Shri Gurave Namah Tasme Shri Gurave Namah I humble pranam to each and every one of you again to the lotus feet of Sri Guru Dev Ji, Swami Brahm Swarupananda Ji of Kashi, India. Today I would like to go to Balkan of Sri Ram Charitamanas, right below Bo Doha 47. It brings us to the Chaupai. Ek bar treta jug mahi. Shambhu gai kumbha jarishi pahi Sangha sati jhaga janani bhavani Pooja rishi akileshwar jani Ramakata muni bharja bakani Suni Mahesh Paramasukumani Rishi Puchi Hari Bhagati Suhai Kahi Shambhu Adhikari Pai Here we come to the perfect scene of teacher and student. The topic of the teachers is that Mahamantra Sri Ram, Rama Naam. Shankar Bhagwan, it says here, once upon a time in Treta Yoga, Shankar Bhagwan goes to Kumbhaj Rishi for, the te for listening about the name of Sri Ram. This Kumbhaj Rishi is Agastya Muni. Agastya Muni, all student and teacher, devotee of Prabhu Sri Ram. Shankar Bhagwan, devotee of Sri Ram, at the same time we talk about him as consciousness. Where is this subject going? Sangha Sati. In company also is Ma Sati. Student, teacher. Topic, this Mahamantra, Sri Ram's name. In this Chaupai also you hear, Suni Mahesh. Nowhere does it say Suni Sati. We come to that aspect of his student. 
And as a student, we should learn to develop our listening skills as well as our questioning skills. Shankar Bhagwan comes here totally, totally to listen to Sri Rama's name. Agastya Muni, knowing that Shankar Bhagwan Akhileshwar, Lord of all, he does his pranam. At the same time, he asks, what is this secret of Hari Bhagati? What is this devotion to Hari? In this part of the Ramayana, Sri Ram is about to go into the forest in search of Sita Mata. And as the Kata comes to an end, Shankar Bhagwan is going back to his abode with Sati, Ma Sati. She did not listen to a word of this kata. And as the kata, as this depiction is unraveling, Sri Ram is searching with Lakshman Bhaya for Sitama. Shankar Bhagwan realizes that he is there and he wants so much to do his pranam. Sri Ram is the Ishta Deota of Shankar Bhagwan. Shankar Bhagwan is the Ishta Deota of Sri Ram. I was a student listening, questioning. Ma Sati did not listen to what Agastya Muni was saying about Sri Ram. She didn't listen to that Adi Guru, Shankar Bhagwan, what he was saying about Sri Ram. So she came away perplexed now when she sees Shankar Bhagwan so enveloped in this love of who is Sri Ram. I want to meet this Sri Ram. I want to do my pranam to Sri Ram. So a doubt enters her mind. This doubt is if Shiva is so great and everyone is praying to Shiva, why does he so hunker to do his pranam to this Ram? Who is this Ram? Shankar Bhagwan knows very well that everything that is happening is by the blessings of Sri Ram. So he's watching as the events unfold about why Masati is questioning who is this Sri Ram. She didn't listen to when the Kata was going on. We as students should develop this listening power. We lose a lot when we cannot listen. Just hearing the noise or hearing somebody speaking does not mean that we are listening. So the events go on now to say that. She took the form of Ma Sita to go and to test who is this Sri Ram. Shankar Bhagwan goes into meditation for he knows that this can only bring hardship for Ma Sati. Now here let's take this a little bit deeper. Sati is representing that student in us, the intellect in us that is not mature as yet. As a student to a new subject, we should have doubts, but the doubts should go to the limit of questioning for our understanding for us to comprehend and to be able to apply the knowledge. Here you have a great devotee of Sri Ram speaking about his greatness. You have this Param Guru, Adi Guru, who she did not listen to, she did not take his advice. When we come before the Guru, we should come with an open mind, listening ears purity of heart. When we look at the physicality of how Shankar Bhagwan is sitting, he has Ganga Ma flowing from his hair. He has the moon, the crescent moon on his forehead. He is known as Nilakant, the blue-throated one, when he swallowed the poison. Ganga Maya on his hair is a seat of height of bhakti. 
she represents bhakti in shri ram charitamanas shri ram and the stream of the ganga is one and the same it says devotion to shri ram is the same as the stream of ganga maya all of this she missed masati by not listening going in search of who is this shri ram we were talking about shankar bhagwan as that om nama shivaya mantra nama shivaya om is this entirety nama shivaya representing the five elements in us earth water fire air sky we spoke about each one of these in the chakras that are representing the circulatory system the respiratory system the digestive system so this is this guru that we're talking about guru has the dedication to teach the student as long as they are open minded and they come with purity swallowing this poison he is teaching us that when we share our words when we speak about a subject when we speak about someone when we speak to someone we should only bring out the goodness in everything this is a guru when you go before the guru he teaches you how to look at the good in everything and leave the negative the moon the crescent moon as we said on that shivratri night you come to that last part of the moon where the mind can come to that place of calmness whenever we have to take a lifelong decision or any major decision in our lives we should come to that place in ourselves that is calmness then and only then can we make the right decision for every challenging situation out there so we're coming this student of us going before the guru speaking of this topic of the maha mantra shri rama's name we will take a short break now jai shri ram Manjit Singh CPA tax planners not just tax preparers providing services IRS audits and representation including foreign income and offshore account disclosures and compliance tax return preparations including exit tax returns accounting and payroll services financial statement audits Manjit Singh CPA offices in Ashburn and Falls Church phone 703-280-5656 or on the web at mscpa.us Hi my name is Kuldeep Gill I'm broker of Sky Realty The reason we are so successful because client trust us I've been doing this my whole life my team is my wife my office manager and my agents We look forward to on your business and we do speak your language. Thank you. Welcome back viewers to my TV. As we are discussing Masati, that immature intellect. This is when the energy of spirituality is leaning outward. When we are gathering all the information of knowledge. That intellect is there. but it is not quite on that pathway to bring us to the inside of us we know the events that took place ma sati went she tested prabhu shri ram then it, she was annihilated and then she took rebirth as parvati mata parvati mata is representing that spiritual energy that has gone within that has done the penance that has done the japam that is bringing that intellect to the point of wisdom intuition and intelligence so here we see in shri ram charitamanas the guru the shishya the subject matter of mahamantra 
that name of Prabhu Sri Ram and how when we are gathering information we are in that form of Ma Sati always questioning but do not allow that questioning to the, come to the point of arrogance then our demise will come and our education cannot grow this knowledge cannot come to that part that is now Ma Parvati who is representing Bhakti, Shakti, the devotion, bringing us to that part of ourselves that is the intelligence, the wisdom, and the intuition. So I leave you here now. Jai Shri Ram. Until we meet again, thank you viewers of my TV. Jai Shri Ram.